I'm excited to do this and a lot of you may are probably wondering why did you do this why did you bring those three cows over well guys this is the beginning process of bringing all of my breeding stock animals from mom and Kevin's which is where the Dunbar place is over here that's the plan is to bring them all over the reason I brought these three mamas over here is because uh, they had their babies in May and so we already weaned their calves off of matter of fact their calves are right back here they've been here for about a month or so I brought them over to start the weaning process this is just the first stage all right guys we are gonna let these three mamas out I'm gonna let Marissa open up the gate for the first time she's gonna let them out so if you hear that buzzing sound it's a drone just so you guys ever know I uh, try to get a lot of live sounds of actually what's happening and stuff but if you hear the buzzing it is the drone hanging out just in case you guys were wondering I honestly could probably take these three cows and let them out right now with the big Joe herd since they're up here um, for me it's a security thing it's just a comfort for me uh, to keep them in this pen at least for a night um, and the thing is is these three have already been with Big Joe now they haven't been with some of these females like I've mentioned several times but I feel a little bit better about coming out here tomorrow that the fact that Big Joe and them are up here now and, and doing this uh, they're gonna let them calm down some and then we can let them out Hey, mamas. So, this is Bell Star, Peaches, and Kit. Um, remember, Kit came with Big Joe when we first got them in 2019. These two I raised, uh, I started uh, bought them when they were yearlings, so they were part of my first five bison. Um, as you can see here, Bell Star is the one that probably gets the most excited and. Uh, stressed out every year that we work bison she is the number one stressor what it does is the other two are pretty calm but she'll stir them up just because of her being stressed out so she got stressed out when kevin and i um when kevin pinned them up and then we started to work them but she always gets gets a little stressed out anytime that we pin them up and work them so um we're gonna let big joe and them in here so that they can come up Hopefully they'll calm down a little bit. I know that she'll calm down, especially once I leave. They'll be okay, but I've got them some cubes. I'm gonna spread out for them real quick. Yeah, I'll see if she's getting her stressed out. The reason why I kind of don't just let them run and let them go is because you take a chance of them running through a, a, a fence that they don't know exists. They get let out the first thing they want to do is run and they want to check all your fences on a new property they want to check your corners and so that's one thing that we kind of can let them settle down let them get used to each other a little bit and their new place get some of those smells out of the and then uh we'll let them go that's kind of how i like to do it especially with young animals these cows i think we'll probably be able to let them out tomorrow by the way they're handling and that the fact that they've already been with big joe before it, it'll be interesting to see the boss cow competition because the 32 cow that's in here which is right here um she's sort of the boss cow of the big joe herd here at the ponderosa but kit is kind of the boss cow over with the dumbbell herd or was 